The ballots have gone out and everything is not in order, starting with the disputed legitimacy of the leading candidate. Despite constitutional restrictions, President Daniel Ortega, the former leftist guerrilla who led Nicaragua during the 1980s, is running for a third term. Thanks to a 2009 ruling by the Supreme Court, which is controlled by his appointees. These elections are absolutely illegal because Ortega is prohibited by the Constitution to run again. The Supreme Court ruling that gave him the green light basically declared the Constitution unconstitutional. And with the Electoral Council also controlled by Ortega loyalists, some argue voting at all is a waste of time. Most anti-Ortega graffiti has been removed, but you can still find a bit like this that was painted by a dissident Sandinista group. It says, protest vote or issue a protest vote. Don't count on me for this farce. Basically, it's calling on Nicaraguans to scribble all over their ballots so that they won't be valid. But polls show President Ortega is likely to win anyway, with the vote of people like Carmen Diaz, who, thanks to a government loan, was able to set up her own business of making and selling piñatas. Daniel Ortega is the only president who has ever given me direct help. Who cares about those of us with nothing? Nicaragua may be the second poorest nation in the Western Hemisphere. But boosted by record factory exports, stable monetary policies, and billions of dollars in aid from Venezuela for social projects, poverty has fallen from 65 to 57 percent. Another plus for Ortega is his opponent's refusal to join forces against him. 80-year-old conservative Fabio Gadea, in second place according to polls, is better known as a broadcaster of popular folklore than a politician who combats corruption. Corruption is a president who does what he wants, who doesn't respect the law, who becomes a bigger millionaire by the day and buys four or five television stations. The other leading candidate is none other than Arnoldo Aleman, a former president whose 20-year prison sentence for embezzling tens of millions of dollars while in office was overturned amid an uproar. Given the weak competition and the lack of transparency of the electoral system, Ortega has good reason to feel optimistic about keeping and, in fact, consolidating his power. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Managua.